This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting episode of Freeform Friday where we play some random video game and today's game is called Swag and Sorcery. It's, um, I don't know how to explain what this game is. It's unique, so let's get to it. So I've already been playing this game a little bit just to kind of get the hang of it and understand what it's all about. Essentially, you have this town, you got to build it up. You do that by hiring adventurers and sending them on an adventure. And to do that, you just have them over here. You click this building. All the buildings do stuff. This is the building where you hire people and equip them with stuff. And this is the building where you level them up because they don't actually gain experience. You just pay money to level them up or you can level up specific skills on that person. Uh, the, you have the blacksmith shop and you can, you know, do blacksmithy things there. You have uh, the hunting lodge and do hunting lodgey things there. Uh, so you just drag your people like they're just these little icons You just drag them to the building in order to do stuff there So if you don't have them in the building, they won't actually do anything like the building won't craft anything So to send them on an adventure you just click here and then click where you want to go fight and then you just go fight So like for example, we could go fight here and you just click and that's it Then you just wait and you watch them do the thing and there's not a whole lot of interaction you do after that point you just watch them as this green bar goes through here that completes the mission when it's done all the way then your mission's over and they'll just fight and do the thing on their own you don't actually have to do anything it very much reminds me of a phone game but from what i can tell it's not which is unique and i think makes the game even more unique man that dude took a heck of a beating this is starting to be very difficult i need to level them up some more and get them some stronger weapons they're just chugging through the health pots we're about to lose a guy okay he drank his health pot he might be all right so yeah like it's getting it's getting a bit difficult we're probably gonna lose him drink another health pot he's all right but you just don't do anything you just watch him do the thing and there's three rows so you can have three missions going at one time Man, he is chugging through those health pots to kill this thing. That thing is a beast. Look at it go. And then when it's done, it should eventually be done here. Can they kill this thing without dying? I don't know how many health pots he's got left. They're just evading everything. Oh, no, this is not good. Come on, kill it. You're almost done. It's almost done. A few more walks. They gather the resources as they go. Now, this is the only way to get resources to do stuff to be able to craft things. We're going to have to TP out of here because they're not going to make it. So you can actually like retreat from the mission if it doesn't, if you're going to die or whatever. So you can see here we have another set. So like I can drag this guy down here and he'll go on a mission and this guy up here will go on a mission. But uh, let's see if we can level, can we level this guy? He's going to take almost all of the money we have to level him. That's brutal. I don't know what else to do because... I have a bunch of quests over here that I can do things like I need to do things to complete them but I need to keep doing that level more in order to do that and I maybe if I just I got an idea we're just gonna do the the normal mission here because this should still be pretty easy for us to do so let's just go through here and we're gonna gather a bunch of resources and then I'm gonna craft stuff and sell stuff because that's an option as well it's it's kind of boring and kind of entertaining at the same time. It would be nice to have like multiples of these going and you can click this and go back. You don't have to like, you can see here your adventures are doing the thing. You don't have to be there. So I feel like it's going to not be as boring as it is right now. It's just, well, it's not really boring. It's just kind of slow, if that makes any sense. It's still fun though. Um, I don't know how to explain. It's a very unique game. I've never played a game like this. Like I said, it reminds me kind of like a phone game but at the same time it's not really a phone game because you don't have any of that like the general phone game style mechanics because i did a search on it and nothing came up for android or any of the other phone stores so i don't i don't know uh, i'm assuming it was designed for pc anyway uh we go over here we can heal them up so we can do that spend money to heal them up we can come down here and this depending on how relaxed they are depends on how much more resources you get and how well they fight so we always want them to be relaxed so let's see if we can actually craft anything and sell anything we got a bunch of copper so like you can see if i click to craft it nothing happens because i don't have anybody over there i can just drag that guy over there and all that will start to craft up and we can probably make a couple of sets of armor and then sell that or maybe a sword or two let's go see how much wood we got 
So if we come to, where is it? This right here, the chestnut. Oh, we only have one, or the ability to make one chestnut pl plank. Wood's difficult. It's kind of a pain. We need the higher level stuff to do other things. Oh, look, we got some mana stuff here. So we can make the essence. That's done. Now we can research this. That's going to cost me 250 to research. Unlocks the buff heavy handed one in the spa, which increases the damage characters deal. Oh, that's pretty cool. So there's some magic stuff you can see here that we can get, which is pretty interesting, but it's cost, everything costs money. It's money driven game. I found myself like continuously wanting to play it and not wanting to stop and do some other things that I had to do before I started uh, to record. As you see here, apparently they have crafting efficiency, which is interesting and different things have different uh, buffs. If we take a look at our character's equipment, you can see that uh, he's got this necklace, but his crossbow uh, requires some agility, required stat, but it gives you plus 10 to agility and plus three physical damage, which is pretty cool. While we wait for all of that to craft up, actually, I think that's done, but we're going to go ahead and go over here. We're going to make a couple of healing potions. We have plenty of stuff for those. So let's just do five of those for now. We're going to craft that up and then we're going to come over here. Nope, not this one. It's this one. And let's see. So this is going to cost us. Now see his efficiency increase by three. The chance of creating high quality weapons. Chance to create high quality items depends on the strength of the character in charge. Oh, oh so we don't want him there. We want him here. He has way more strength. So it's this one. Oh, so that one's agility. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And he has a lot of strength, but his still isn't as high as his 21 there and only 12 here. But he has high strength. Maybe we can train up his strength a little bit more. It cost me 100 to give him one point in strength. So let's just, let's spend 100 and see what kind of a difference that makes. Not much. Not much at all. Oh wait, was that the wrong guy? Let's try the right guy this time. It keeps it switched back on me there, so we definitely want this guy. Train another hundred. Let's just do one more. Okay, what kind of a difference did that make? Still twelve. Man, that's brutal. That's really brutal. All right, well let's craft up uh, one of the. Well, we can craft two swords. Let's see what the sword self were compared to the armor. So I know where I want to spend all of my money. So that's four, and that's four as well. We can upgrade this, but we can't, we can't do it just yet because I need some more of the pine planks. And those are at the second level that I can't, that I'm having issues with because as you go along, the level gets harder. You can see here, it shows you. And as you complete more and more, it gets, it gets tougher. So let's see what we got here. We got the scout's helmet. That's going to sell for 112, 114, 141 for the sword. So we definitely want to make another sword and sell that before we do anything else. And I can go get more of the wood if need be. So let's go ahead and craft another one of those. Okay, nice. So that's going to get us a little bit more money here. Oh, is that a spell? Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Go to equipment. Ooh, plus 12% damage. That was a, that was a good one. Compared to the one that I have now, that one is a good one. So we're going to swap that. It didn't turn green though, which is interesting. So this one only has... 12 to or 10 the strength and doesn't have any bonuses this one wait hold on a minute why was that showing bonuses 12 to strength 10 to, oh okay because that's 12 to strength so that's definitely the one we want and that one's only 10 the strength yeah interesting okay so i gotta i gotta pay attention to that stuff and you see this one sells for 196 so we're gonna sell that uh let's look at the bows oh we got a new bow we need the higher level materials to craft it though. We're going to have to do some adventuring here and just get a ton of resources. But what's cool is I should be able to hire. Oh, another person is going to cost me 900 gold. Wonder if they can both go on an adventure this level by themselves. So if we go back now, we send this guy on an adventure as well. Can he not go there? Oh, they have to go to different levels. Well, that's terrible. That's just trash. So <laughs> that means we have to, well, even if we were to hire another person, 
we can't we can't do anything about it. We would have to because they would get trashed at that second level. Hmm. Interesting. So we just got to keep letting this run. Uh, the one thing that I wish that this is missing, and I think the thing that bugs me a little bit, is I wish you could just like quick finish or speed this up. There's no way to do that. You have to like watch them do the thing and wait patiently. And there's not a lot going on. Well, he might die. He's gonna make it. I think he's gonna make it, but there's not like a whole lot to do right now. I mean, even if you had all three of these going and you had plenty of people just like waiting, there's not a whole lot to do back here at the moment. And it's just somewhat boring. All right, so let's go over here. Let's let's heal dude up. 27, I'll take the heal, I'll take it. And we're gonna relax and now we're just going to run that one again. So the good thing is, is we are getting some essence from some of the monsters so we can use that for other stuff to give them buffs that might make it a little bit easier for us on the other levels. I kind of wish also that they gained experience from running, but I guess it's going to get to the point where you're just going to have them constantly running. And if you did, it would be kind of broken. So you need that whole gold thing to gate the situation. So I think we're going to just spend the money. We're just going to, we're just going to do it. And what's the other dude going to cost us? 510 as well. Okay. So yeah, we still can't do anything about that. And we can come down here. We can just spend the 250 to research that. So we'll go ahead. We're just going to start spending a bunch of money. And did we get many planks? We have a couple of planks there. We will, uh, let's put this guy here. Cause I did not realize that was a thing before when I was doing this. So we're going to craft that there and go to the chestnut and we will craft all of that as well. Okay. So we're going to go over here and we're going to craft up some of these. Let's give it a craft. He has, he has a 15% chance. It's not super terrible. Like, I think this part of the game, this, this is pretty cool. And I, like I said, I think the game's just slow to start. They gated the character. You're getting multiple characters just a, a tad bit too much, in my opinion. It's just kind of, I feel like mid to late game, it's going to be, you're just going to have all kinds of random stuff to do. Okay, so 20, 22, 22. Nope, none of those are any better. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope we don't die. We keep getting caught in two, and I, I haven't found a use for that one yet. I'm sure there is. I just haven't, haven't got there yet. I need to upgrade some of the other stuff, and we need this wood right here in order to do so. Okay, we're going to get through this one without fighting anything, because that would be... Nope, I was going to say, that would be amazing, but we're not that lucky, so we're going to kill this thing. Evasion... Okay, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. We got that one. We got that one down. We got to wait for this to finish ticking away. He's going to drink a pot, heal up. All right, we're moving right along. Oh, God, these things. These things are like mini bosses. Jesus. All right, come on. Stop evading stuff. Come on, guys. You got this. You got this. You can kill him. Nope, that's hurting. Drink a health pot. There you go. All right, now hit him. Nice. We got some weak essence for, oh my God, another one. Well, we're, we're gonna die. We're all gonna die. Everybody's gonna die. Good game, game over, man, game over. All right, we got one health pot left. Was that his third one? I lost count. Oh no, we're almost done. If we beat this guy, we might have it. Man, the archer is just kicking some butt back there. Holy crap. You go, archer. All right, nice, we did it. We got two logs. So let's drag him down here and let's craft those. But I think what I want to do is I want to do the magic shop first. Oh no, we need one more for the magic shop. Crap. All right, fine. We're just going to upgrade this. Yeah, build it. Okay, so that gets me some better swords. We need two pine planks now and iron. I haven't seen any iron. Maybe iron is it the other one. So maybe, maybe what we do, maybe what we do is we craft a whole bunch of these. So let's just do, let's do eight. Drag this guy over here, drop him. Oh, we finished this quest. Nice. Bring the magician 10 elusive essence. All right, sweet. We did that. That's money. I like that. We still need to kill the rat things. Still need those. Let's check this and see if we can find some iron. Well, this one looks crazy. Oh, that hits hard. 
Yeah, oh, stop evading everything. Oh my god, the evasion is ridiculous. Yeah, there we go. Now we're gonna get... Okay, so one has the wood we need, and the other one has the iron we need. What is the going on there? He's like holding his hand. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we got ectoplasm, weak essence, wasp stinger. It's like everybody's possessed over here. More cotton. Okay, so we're gonna get wood. Huh, it's interesting that this one seems much easier than the other one. You know what I mean? Like this one, you would think this one would be easier since this was the easiest to start with and you unlock this one and this one at the same time. But we are further in that one, so let's... Let's go again. And just wait for them to do their thing. What did we need to buy another person? 900? I mean, I think we can get there. But yeah, I wish, I really wish there was just a way to speed things up. I don't have any spells to cast. I might just spend the money. Let's just spend the money and learn healing. Because then I won't have to cra craft the potions. And we got a bunch of other stuff that we can that we can do so let's go back up here and see how we're doing got 12 gold so far gonna drink a health pot yep kill that thing kill it man that thing hits hard holy crap we're getting a lot more gold is he out of health pots already please don't be out of health pots all right we beat it so we're good there oh it looks like we got a we got a thing I didn't highlight over it what was it it was like a, a rune stone Hold on. Uh, let's check our health. Yeah, he chugged through all of those. F4, close that. Where did that go? It was the skeleton's favorite stone and you took it away. That's funny. So that must be a crafting recipe or some part of a crafting recipe, I guess. The mana tube. You can't help your characters with spells if you have no mana. This one is green around it. I don't know what the difference is. Cause they say the same thing. That one takes 15, that one takes 10. So I guess this is just a, a weaker version maybe. So what are we at? We need uh, three more. Okay, so let's grab this guy, toss him over there. He craft those up. That'll complete this quest here. Gets us some goodies. Keep crafting there, buddy, keep crafting. Do I just have that in my abilities now? Whoa. Going to run. Let's do this one again. Oh yeah, the mist is a little further back. Oh, that's cool, because I didn't really like that whole mist thing. So eventually we will be able to unlock all of this. So do we have the... Oh, we do have the spell. We can cast it. 25 mana, though. That's a little bit expensive. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. So we can get a little bit interactive with the mana stuff. So we can, like... Heal our dude. Oh, that's cool. I like it. Okay. So we can just fill them full of health pots and let them do their own thing and hope for the best. Or we can use the spells to interact a little bit. I love this this character here. He's just like holding the sword for him, making him do it. He's like, I don't want to attack you, but I can't help it. The spirit's making me do it. Dude, die already. Holy crap. Okay, so we're getting plenty of essence. And we got 100 gold, so I guess it is worth crafting the stuff because we're going to get more, well, plenty of mana compared to the gold that we're going to have to spend to craft it. So that's not terrible. The link for it will be in the description, and there I checked there is a Humble link for it right now, and it is on sale through the Humble store. So if you use that link, you will not only get it on sale, you will also help support the channel. So, uh, yeah, that's super handy if you want to do that. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.